All right. Welcome back, everyone. We're diving into some serious SEC action today. Yeah, we got a big one. Alabama, 34 zip over Missouri. Shut out. A total shutout. And you know what's crazy is Missouri. They were rolling. Six and one coming into this. A winning record, absolutely. Balanced offense. Not a team you want to underestimate. This was a Bryant Denny. Tough place to play. So we dove into a bunch of sources, yeah. you know, trying to get the uh, the real story here. All the different angles. And I think it's safe to say, everyone was kind of expecting, you know, a closer game. Yeah, I mean, on paper, right? This looked like it could be a real battle. But what we saw, I think it was it was more than a win for Alabama. It was a statement. Totally, they sent a message to the whole SEC. Loud and clear. Look, Alabama's offense was on fire, and their defense—they were just suffocating. Okay, so let's break it down. Offensively, Jalen Milrow, solid game. What what impressed you about his play? He was efficient. He was smart. No turnovers. You know, some quarterbacks, they try to do too much. But Milrow, he just played within the system, made the right reads. And, you know, I think that one play, uh, third down, he's scrambling, avoids the sack, and throws a dime for the first down. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. That's Alabama football right there. Textbook. Controlled aggression. Love it. And then, of course, we got to talk about Jamarian Miller. Oh, man. Two touchdowns. He was unstoppable. Really set the tone for that ground game. It was like Missouri's defense that just couldn't get a handle on him. Now on the other side. Yeah, let's get to that defense. That Alabama defense. It's legendary. And they held Missouri. Scoreless. Shut him down completely. I mean, Brady Cook. Yeah. Missouri's quarterback, he'd only thrown two interceptions all season long two. coming into this. Yep. He threw three against Alabama. They had his number that day. What was it about that defense? What made them so effective? I think it was a combination of things. You know, Alabama's defensive line, they were just dominant. They got pressure on Cook all game long. And then, you know, the secondary, they were playing tight coverage, disguised coverages, blitz packages. They were throwing everything at Missouri. They just mm. kept them guessing. They couldn't get anything going. Yeah, and it wasn't just the passing game. They shut down the run, too. Nate Noel. Ooh, a tough day for him. He's a fantastic running back. One of the best in the SEC. But against Alabama? He couldn't find any space. Nothing. That Alabama defensive line, they were like a wall. They just plugged up every hole. Yeah, they they really shut down both parts of that Missouri offense. Absolutely. It wasn't a one-dimensional thing. This was a complete defensive performance. So this wasn't just about Missouri having a bad game. Nope. Alabama took control. They dictated the pace of the game on both mm -hmm. sides of the ball. And that's, I think, what was so impressive. Yeah. You know, they came in, they had a game plan, executed it perfectly. Like a well-oiled machine. So what does this loss mean for Missouri moving forward? Well, you know, they're a good team. They've got a lot of talent. But I think this game showed them, you know, that there's another level. Right. When you're facing an elite team like Alabama, they got to be able to adjust. they got to be able to handle that pressure. And they just weren't able to do that in this game. All right. So... After looking at all this, this dominant win by Alabama, what does it mean for their chances in the SEC? Are they back in the championship conversation? Think about that, folks. We'll see you next time. <laughs>